Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. We have a little house tour update for you guys to show you what it's like living through a renovation. Uh, we've been going on this renovation for about eight weeks now, working on the inside, the kitchen and the bathroom and everything else, as you may have seen in our videos. So we're going to show you our mess as it is um, to kind of give you a feel of what it's like living through the renovation. Before we go inside, I actually want to show you this deck because it's in a bit of a state covered in tiles and mess. So broken sink, tiles everywhere, circular saws, all that fun stuff. So we have a little bit of cleaning up we have to do out here. Bathtub in the yard, no worries. So as you can see, there's a bit of a mess outside, so we're pretty ready to get a skip out here, but come on inside and we'll show you what, what, what we've done and where we're up to. So this is our living space now. As you can see, it's changed a lot. So we've got a new green couch over here. We actually got that from some people off Facebook Marketplace, so that was a good find. Not couch flipping, no, just our own, own couch to keep. It was a really good deal, so we hired a Bunnings truck and brought it out here. And this is our other couch that we've had for a while. This is definitely a favourite of ours. It's a three-seater with two cushions and we love it. It's perfect for the both of us. So you can see we've got our uh, bathroom sink and, and tapware for the shower in our living room. Obviously it's fairly messy in here, but that's just where we're at at the moment with the renovation stuff everywhere. Come on through and I'll show you our dining space. We really didn't clean up for you guys, you know, we just thought you could handle the, uh, the mess. All you people who are a little bit OCD, we're really sorry about this house tour. But we really wanted to give it a true reflection of what it's kind of like living with mess while you're trying to renovate and we've been working on the kitchen and the bathroom. So that's why it's in such a state at the moment. So as you can see, any space that we can throw stuff on like a dining table, uh, we've basically covered the table with junk at the moment. And yeah, so that's this space. So this is will be once we clean up. So as everyone needs in their dining room is a 2.4 meter aluminium ladder, just in case you need to scale the room while you're eating dinner. And as you can see over here, there's also our toolbox uh, and a drop saw and a toilet that's ready to be installed very soon. So this, these spaces are now obviously full of stuff our stuff, but we've actually done a lot of work in here to get this, these spaces ready. So we painted the walls a white on white, uh, shout out to the Three Birds Renovations for giving us that colour. And we put in an aircon and we're ready to install some new lights soon in this space. So we've also redone the floors, so these floors were almost black with tar. The floor that ends on, we also put in new BJ Pine and floorboards there. So the floors have all been refinished, the whole room's been repainted, and the aircon's gone in, and we're just almost ready to get new light fixtures in here down the track. So that's a little update on these rooms. We're lucky we don't have any little kids running around at our place. Um, and then you might have seen in one of the most recent reno videos that this area didn't actually have the table here. The table was pushed off to the side because this space was full of um, tools and building supplies. So we've been working our way slowly to clean up the house and get the tools out and underneath the house. So hopefully in the next few weeks, we'll be able to give you a full updated tour with the house pristine and clean and no tools in sight. So this is my study. Uh, it's been given a new, new lease on life. We painted it all up. So this door has been covered in white on white gloss paint. We refinished the door handles in black in a matte black with spray paint. Um, the whole room's been painted in white on white and we've put in the new curtains from DIY blinds on both of the windows in here. Obviously I still need to clean up this room as well and clean up the windows which have paint on them. Um, but we now have this as a working space. So I've got my laptop set up here and my screen and we've also restained the desk before I set up all my equipment on here. So that's this little space all renovated. Now this space is far more aesthetic. Uh, this is Emily's study space and workspace. So she's got some hanging pots in here. Again, this room's all been re repainted and the floor's been refinished. She just installed these blinds last week and they do a great job of cutting out the western sun, which is pretty hot at the moment. So it's a lot cooler in here than it used to be without the blinds. But yeah, this room's come along really well. 
um, and is perfect for what she needs and yeah, it's a great space to have a study. So this is the back hallway, we have done nothing with our little back deck out here or these doors, so this is on our to-do list for the renovation project. The plan is to strip the paint off of these doors, but we'll get there down the track. So this paint, uh, this area has just been given a paint uh, and the floors we've done as well. We come on through to the second bedroom. So this is the second bedroom, again, gloss paint on the door, refinish the floors, fill it with all our stuff. So this is currently just storage space at the moment. So we've just basically packed all of our you know, leftovers, music gear, stuff all in here. Packed to the brim. Now this area has changed a whole lot. So this is our kitchen now. So we've changed a lot in here, as you can see. We've got a brand new fridge in black from Kogan, and that was a pretty good buy for us, only 600 bucks. We're very happy with that. We've got a little dishwasher here in the corner, which is hopefully gonna get plumbed in this week when the plumber comes out. So this is our stone sink from Artistone. We love it. Um, they did us a solid when the first one came out broken, and this one just fits in perfectly with the space and really pops. We've gone with our IKEA kitchen, which is all built now. So we've got the green cab, the olive green cabinetry, gold handles, and the finger tile backsplash, which has all been grouted with grey grout. Uh, we've kept the oven that came with the house. She requires matches or a lighter to start her up manually. That even has a um, an old school click burner to turn her on. Fire up. So the kitchen's now pretty much done. We just need the plumber to come out and plug in the sink and the dishwasher and then this space will all be ready to go. So let's give you a little update on our bathroom. Em's gonna pull up what it used to look like now and we're gonna show you what it looks like after we've been renovating for a little while. So come on in. So this is our new bathroom. It's almost there, I'd say we're 80% of the way, so we actually ripped this bathroom out completely when we first bought it, and we put in new floors, uh, we've now tiled it ourselves, put in a shower niche, and we're ready for the plumber to come out and install the shower and get the glass screen put in here. So we need to get the tiles a wipe down, they've got a bit of a mist on them at the moment from the grout, but we're ready for the vanity to get installed, the shower to be installed and the toilet to be installed and this bathroom will be in working order. So we've been managing with that a bathroom for a little while now, um, but we're going to show you what we've been using for our Danny a little later in this video. Come on through to the bedroom. This room's been fully renovated and there's, not, oh, there's nothing else we really need to change in here. So we've had a new fan put in by our Sparky. Uh, we've obviously painted the walls again white on white and refinished the floors and just brought in our own furniture um, and kept this, this uh, closet as an open closet with these drawers that really pop against the white and we just absolutely love it. Um, so we haven't had any thoughts on changing this wardrobe to being closed up. We really like the look of it open so it's working for us. And as you can come around here, you can see that we've installed curtains to give us a bit of privacy and they block out the light pretty well in the morning. Um, we're still working on getting a cushion for the bay window. We'll get that sorted. Uh, but we've also installed these lights either side of the bed to kind of frame out our bed. Um, and we just think these are really cool and we love them. So we really finish off the space nicely. Now, it wouldn't be a complete house tour if we didn't show you our outhouse. So here's the most exciting part of our tour update. We're gonna show you our lovely dunny and downstairs area that has now all been built in. Oh, yeah. So that's our lovely little dunny out here that we've been using the last few weeks. We can't wait to get a dunny upstairs. We're just, you know, hoping that it comes sooner rather than later so that we can start using the bathroom up there and uh, yeah, get rid of that place. So this is our storage area under the house. We've had Ryan, our tippy, built in uh, all this side, all the way up to the front. So it's now completely enclosed in here. And yeah, we're just really happy that we have all this storage space because we can throw all our junk down here and we'll be able to clean out the rest of the tools and stuff out from upstairs and just store it all under here and lock it up as well. So thanks for checking out our update tour of our house. We think it's come along really nicely with you know most of the painting all done, the floors down, and we've just got you know some fit off to do in the kitchen and the bathroom, and we'll be pretty close to getting the internals of this house sorted. If you uh, 
haven't seen all of our renovations, make sure you check out our playlist on our YouTube channel to follow this whole renovation journey. Uh, subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.